all right guys welcome to colossal's mathematics class don't forget to subscribe like and share this video all right today we'll be talking about function now what is a function a function is a relation between two sets a and set b now set a are called the domain while the set b are called the co-domain like if you have you can have a like this and you can also have b like this so this is set a and this is set b we have an arrow in between them showing that it's a function so you can call this f i get what i'm saying so the element in this a let's see a b let's say one two three function deals with numbers while mapping deals with alphabet majorly so let's say i have one two minus one minus two and i have one four I get what I'm saying, and I have five. Now, this are uh, these elements here: one, two, minus one, and minus two. The elements here are called the objects, while the elements here are called the image. I get what I'm saying. And let's say the our function is, let's say the um, our f of x is, let's say our f of x is x squared. Now, if I have one squared, one squared, f of one. Will be one squared and one squared is what one so that means one can map to one f of two will be what two squared which is what four and that means f of two can map to four minus one f of minus one that's minus one squared and that's what one so that means minus one two can map to one and minus two squared also is what is four and this can also map to what to four. Now this is a function. This is what a function. Now you have to note that for it to be a function, we have several types of functions. We have several types of function, but now is this a function or not? If it is a function, we are going to get to discover that as we proceed in the study. So, but today, we want to talk majorly on composite function. We want to talk majorly on what? On composite function. Now, what do we mean by a composite function? A composite function is when you have two functions in between each other. For example, if I have f of x, let's say I have f of x to be 3x plus 2, and I have f of Let's say I have g of x. Let's say I have my g of x to be x minus 1. Now, if you want to do f of g of 2. So, if you want to have find f, let's say find f of g. Find f of g. Now, this is a composite function. You want to find your f of g. How do you go about that? It's very simple. Sorry. So the way to do it is your f of x is what? 3x plus 2. Now, f of g is the same thing as saying f of g of x. I get what I'm saying. Now, if you remember, when we were dealing with Let's say I want to find f of 2 here now. If I want to find f of 2, f of 2 simply means anywhere I see my x, I will put what? 2. So that will be what? 3, open bracket, 2, close bracket, plus what? 2. Equals what? 6 plus 2. And that's what? It. I get what I'm saying now. But yeah, I have f of g of x. That means anywhere you see x in your f, you are going to put what? g of x. And that will now become what? That means your f of g will now become 3g plus what? 2. Now, what is your g? Your g is what? x minus 1. So that will now be what? 3x minus 1 plus 2. And that will be what? 3x minus 3 plus 2. And that will be what? 3x minus 1. That means your f of g is what tdx minus 1. So this is the function of your f of g. Now, 
peradventure you want to find g of f you can go ahead and pause the video and try to do it and try to do it on your own to check if you can get it the same process we did for this is the same process you are going to also do for the second one so g of f now don't forget g of f simply means g of f of x so this is what it simply means now what is your g your g of x your g of x is what x minus one that means your g of f is not going to be what f minus what one now what is your f your f is what 3x plus 2 minus 1. I get what I'm saying. This is minus 1. That is here. So if you open that, that will be 3x plus 2 minus 1. And that will be what? 3x minus 1. So that means your f of g, you can see that your f of g is the same thing as your, what? your g of f. So you can also see f of g is equal to what? g of f. But this is not always so in many cases. But in this case, our f of g is the same thing as our g of f. So let's see a few other examples on composite function before we wrap up on today's teaching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. So let's say I have a function. Let's say I have a function f of x to be 3 raised to the power x and I have my g of x to be uh, okay okay which what should we use for our g of x uh, let's see um, our g of x let's have our g of x to be something like x squared x squared let's have our g of x is x squared now if you want to find f of g now f of g which is the same thing as what f or g of x right don't forget what's your f your f is what your f of x is 3 raised to power x now that means your f of g will not be what anywhere you see x you put what g that will be what 3 raised to power what? x squared do you understand that now to 3 raised to power what? x squared because your g is what x squared or you can also write it like this 3 raised to power what? g of x Abi, and what is your g of x? That is 3 raised to the power what? x squared. Do we get that now? Okay. So, what will be our g of f? Our g of f. Our g of f will be g first, right? g first, x squared. Then your what? Your f. So, that now means anywhere you see x, anywhere you see x, you put what? f. So, that means your g of f. This is your g of x, sorry. Then your g of f is not going to be what? f squared. Now, what is your f? Your f is what? 3 raised to power what? x all squared. Because of this square. So this is the square. And that will be what? 3 raised to power what? 2x. Now, you can see that, that in this case, that our f of g is not equal to our what? Our g of f. Can you see that now? That they are not equal. So this is how you go about a composite function. Do you understand that now? So this is how you do questions on composite function. So let's see one example on a normal function. Let's say I have f of x. Let's say I have f of x to be 10 raised to the power x. Now if they say find, find f of Okay, let's see. Um, find f of x plus find f of x plus f of two plus x. Now, how do you do this? It's very very simple. It's still the same process. The same process. Now, they say find what f of x plus what f of two plus x. Now, normally you know that your f of x is what ten is power what x. Then your f of 2 plus x means what? Anywhere you see x in your f of x, you are going to what? put what? 2 plus x. So that will be 10. What is there before? x. So instead of writing x now, it's not what? 2 plus x. Then the answer you should add them together. So that will, that will not be what? 10 raised to power what? x plus 10 raised to power 2 plus x. 
I get what I'm saying now. So, R without now be. But you can also write this as 10 is for X plus apply indices to this. If you apply indices to this, that will be 10 is power 2 times 10 is power what? X. You know, this is the same thing because they are the same base. You are going to add their power. So that will have what? What is common between these two now? What is common between them? 10 is power what? X. If you take 10 is power X here, it will be left with what? 1. Abby? Plus, if you take 10 is power X from this base, what will be left with? 10 is power what? 2. And that will have what? 10 is power X. Open bracket. 1 plus 10 is power 2 is what? 100. And that's what 10 is power x open bracket 101. One. So that means your answer is what 10 is power x 101. One. Do you understand? So you can also put it in bracket. So this will be your final answer. So this is where I'm going to stop for today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to share this video, like, and subscribe. Thank you very much.